Take a look at our tail of the tape. You see the height of each advantage in favor of Gary. Antonio Russell, Juan Carlos Payano fighting out of Miami, Florida. That is from the Dominican Republic. We are all set and ready to go for our opening matchup as we take a look at our rules. No knockdown rule, no standing name count. You cannot conceive a foul in any round. Fight is pushed off the full round. We did accidental foul. We did stop it before the end of the fourth round. No decision. So that is how the numbers shake themselves out. As we send it up to ring announcer, here's Jimmy. Ladies and Jimmy. gentlemen, good evening and a welcome from the Mohegan Sun Arena here in Uncasville, Connecticut. Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming your way. And it's all brought to you by TGB Promotions and Showtime. Our judges scoring our opening attraction from ringside, we have from Connecticut, Tom Carasone. From New York, Tom Schreck. And from Oklahoma, David Sutherland. Introducing our third man to the ring, our referee in charge of the action, David Fields. All right, fans, here we go. A bantamweight special attraction scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with gold trim. He is fighting out of Miami by way of La Vega in the Dominican Republic. He weighed in at 119 pounds. His record stands at 21 wins, four losses, with nine wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the world rank contender, number seven by the WBA, and the former WBA bantamweight champion of the world, Juan Carlos Payano. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner in this 10 round attraction, wearing black trunks with pink trim, fighting out of and representing his home of Capitol Heights, Maryland. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 119 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign. The ring with a record of 17 wins, no losses, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. From the renowned boxing family, here is the undefeated WBA number two ranked bantamweight contender, introducing uh, Gary Antonio Russell. Once again, our third band of the ring now to give instructions is David Fields. Hey gentlemen, we're scheduled about 10 rounds. I'm going over the rules in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times and most of all protect yourself at all times. Touch goes good luck. David Fields, a referee in charge. And getting ready for our opening matchup between Gary Antonio Russell and Juan Carlos Payano. Two southpaws, two guys who are quick with Russell having the edge when it comes to the power punching. Juan Carlos Payano is certainly crafty. Likes to mix it up as well. Good jab by Payano to start off the night. They both come close, a right hook to the body by Russell. There's a straight left by Payano. This one is scheduled for 10 rounds. This in the bantamweight division. Emanuel Rodriguez and Remar Caballo. They are up next. As a younger fighter, Russell once asked Payano to take a picture with him, and Payano obliged with the night. Well, Russell's looking for a different kind of photo op, hoping to eliminate Payano from the Bantamweight title. He can do it in a flash. Nice start to the action between these two. As you see Russell is trying to stalk Payano. Makes it up in the inside. 
Nice right to the body by Russell. Under a minute to go here in the first between Gary Antonio Russo and Juan Carlos Bayas. Double jab there by Gary Antonio Russell. Russell setting up his power punches with the jab on his back, 1993, in which the year that he was born. Now pounding away on the body is Gary Antonio Russell. Under final moments of this, our first round between Gary Antonio Russell and Juan Carlos Payano. Sitting on. Oh, yeah. So yeah. good shit. Touch the mind, but look. Yeah. Look, listen. You just drop that left hand straight. Don't care. The left hand is straight, but move behind. Yeah. You want that one? Yeah. 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 Stick is the stick is the the stick is 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 the Round number two, this one is scheduled for 10. Good stiff jab there between Russell and Payano. Changing up his levels was Payano. Russell keeping his patience. Typically goes straight after guys. There's a straight left there by Payano. And Payana goes ahead and pushes Russell off of him. One minute has elapsed to six seconds. Stands a double jab from Russell. There's a nice straight left that sprayed Russell by Payano. We'll see if Payano can get more sustained offense going. It's a nice move there by Payano. There is a right hook to the body by Russell. They're mixing him up on the inside as David Fields will separate these two. Well, Payano likes to make it a tough fight physically on the inside. Under a minute left here in the second round. I'm wearing glasses. I wish I could help you, Raul. I need glasses. Final 30 seconds of this, our second round. This one is scheduled for 10. Working the body with the left hand. Allows him to try to fight out of the clinch, but is forced to 
And David Fields separates the two. Kayana <laughs> looking to send a straight left, and that ends the second. Take the body shot. Don't fight it up and by itself. Okay? And control your stick. Up and down. Up and down with your stick, bro. The stick the bank, the bank. Bank. Taking a look at the replay here, and there was, it looked like a, yeah, clash of heads. A little bit of a cut above the eye of Payano. Intensified a straight left by Payano. Hammer away is Russell upon Payano. Dave Fields warns Payano about holding. Because you're holding, you're holding. Forty seconds have come off the clock. Payano trying to make Russell uncomfortable here. In this third round, this one is scheduled for 10. Straight left in a downward motion for Payano. Here at Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut. For Premier Boxing Champions, our main event tonight, Emmanuel Rodriguez and Ray Mark Caballo. That is our main event here tonight. It is great to be ringside. Once again, for Premier Boxing Champions, a double jab there by Russell. <laughs> Under just over the halfway point of the third. Payano is certainly fighting at the pace in the temple that he is more comfortable with. It's like a jerky jerky style that he's imploring. Both close to the distance here. Mixing up, there's a straight left there by Payano. It's almost like a wrestling match. They are tussling here with their back to the perimeter of the ring. Both are close distance here as Payano Pushing Russell with his back on the ropes. Well, this is the difficult challenge for Gary Antonio Russell, and they are starting off the action as he's learning a lot in that ring in the first three rounds. Bonito cerrado, ya lo está frustrando. Está picado igual, ¿ok? Tuve un rato. un rato. No me dejes esa mano adelante. Arriba. La estás descansando arriba en los hombros y está dándote abajo, ¿ok? Pero ¿qué importa? Están bien. Sí, ¿ok? Están bien. 
Tira ese doble ya, pero de, de este espacio para tirar la otra mano. No te le pego. Tienes que frenar, papá. ¿Okay? ¿Okay? Tienes que frenar. Si no frenas, no vas a tener el Juan Carlos Payano, he's a seasoned veteran, taking a look from the punch stat numbers. Round three power punches landed, 9 of 24 for Russell, 8 of 34 Payano, so pretty similar in that regard from a power punching department standpoint. <laughs> There's a straight left by Russell. Russell coming forward. Good jab there by Payano now. Like a front chancery there, like a guillotine choke that he was trying to use. This is not MMA, Mr. Payano. Thinking of a different sport. And Payano just barreling into Russell, making him uncomfortable. Yeah, this is not the easiest fight to go ahead and score. There's a straight left there by Payano. Russell looking to unload. And he feels steps between the two. And he's expending all kinds of energy, especially in this Western type of environment. As we have 80 seconds to go here in the fourth. That's an issue. Wow, Dave Fields had given a stern warning and a talking to Juan Carlos Payano. <laughs> Russell pounding away upon Payano. There's a left. Oh, great combination. Now Payano loading. Look at this combination there by Payano. Well, there is a cut. There's some blood, I believe, from Juan Carlos Payano. I still haven't been able to see it from my vantage point. But I, I, I thought I saw a glimpse of some blood. But on the face of Juan Carlos Payano, he used his glove to wipe it away a little bit, I believe. I haven't been able to see it from our vantage point because they are on the opposite side of the ring. They're not facing our cameras either, so he once again wiped away at something. Something's bothering him on his forehead or his eye. We'll take a look at that in between rounds. And that ends the round. Okay, it's a nice round. It's alright. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, i La mano you adelante es clave. Your... No deje de usar la mano adelante. Dos y tres, después tira las otras manos. Okay? Después de que termine, saca la pierna. No te quedes. There's a cut right there. There's the cut. It's right above, like in the middle of his, towards the left of the middle of his forehead, if that makes any sense. So it's not in between the eyes, but it's like in like the middle part of his forehead to the left of it. Round five, this one is scheduled for 10 between Gary Antonio Russell and Juan Carlos Payano. Taking a look from a power punch standpoint, punches wise, 
14 to 33 for Russell in the fourth, 11 to 49 for Payano. So Payano is being more aggressive, but it is Russell who is the more accurate fighter and puncher. We've seen some power punch uh, works. A minute has elapsed as David Fields steps between the two. Nice combination there to the body by Russell. He unloaded and showing his hand speed. It's Russell, 100 seconds to go here in the fifth. Oh, yeah. We are just over the halfway point of the fifth round between Russell and Payano. There's a straight left, and Russell went backwards, and then he stuck out his tongue. That might be an indication that he was hurt. I think Russell got blasted and was hurt from that straight left from Payano. And a straight left there by Payano. We are under 45 seconds to go here in the fifth. Having a way is Russell on Payano. They can do here to do a little dance. Make a little glove get down tonight. Under 30 seconds left. In the Under 30 seconds to go here in the fifth. Gary Antonio Russell Juan Carlos Payano, they are battling. It is a war of attrition between these two. And they are just battling on the inside. And that ends the first half of the fight. Coming up next week will be the welterweight division front and center and a man who well wants center stage in the talent lane in 147 pound division. You are just being sure of this and boy, he's got all kinds of power in his hands. Right, a 16 fight, KO straight man from the front. We gotta go. We are now into <laughs> round number six. This one is scheduled for ten between Gary Antonio Russell and uh, Juan Carlos Payano. Russell with an undefeated record of 17 0 with 12 knockouts, 21 and 4, not 9 KOs. Payano. They both are just unloading upon one another. Nice straight left there by Payano. Skip jab by Russell. We'll see if Russell can maintain his distance and keep Payano off of him because I think the key is with Russell is maintain your distance. And you got to fight in spurts because Payano has got a herky jerky style. He's going to tie you up. He's going to try to frustrate you with his veteran like tendencies and his maneuvers. Nice right hook. I mean, he doesn't bite all the time. He's smart about it, especially because he's in his mid 30s. So it is something that Payano is so aware of, especially, you know, 118, these guys have motors on them. And a lot of them are in their early to mid 20s. And Payano is like the, uh, as they like to say, the, uh, the elder statesman of this group as he's in his 30s. And typically 30s are considered ancient with anything below 130. I mean, that's considered ancient and pretty much long in the tooth. But Payano still continues to fight at a very high level, but now he's becoming an opponent. 
for the young <laughs> contender in Gary Antonio Russell. But he still provides some high level opposition, make no mistake about it. The hype man. You're his Bundini, uh, 65 seconds left here in the sixth. Under a minute to go here in the sixth between Juan Carlos Bayano and Gary Antonio Russell. Nice stiff jab there by Russell. Russell's being smart about maintaining his distance and loading now upon Payano. And there's a straight left, and now blood starting to stream outside of the left eye of Juan Carlos Payano. That is something to keep your eye on. The left eye is bleeding for Payano. And then he gets shaken up. Oh my goodness, he got shaken up to Payano. And Russell on the attack by the moments of the six. Payano tying up to try to maintain his vertical base. And the left side of his base is a crimson mask that ends the six. That is a nasty cut. Yep. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes. That's a bad cut. Close your eyes. No. So, uh, what was this? Headbutt. Headbutt? Oh, absolutely. Start clearly. Yeah. yeah. Very, very bad headbutt. Well, um, Taking a look at it, they say it's a headbutt. We'll see. Look at that accuracy there by Juan Carlos Bayano. Total punches landed, thrown through six. Russell, 86 of 243, 35% connect percentage. Payano, 58 of 268. There you saw the end of the round. And this one has been stopped. The doctor has said enough is enough. And it has been waved off, so I believe because it was due to an accidental headbutt, we have to go to the scorecards, so it will likely be a technical decision. So, after four rounds have been completed, in case of an accidental foul of any kind, you go to the scorecards. So because we've completed six rounds, we will go to the scorecards, and the winner will be the one who is ahead on the scorecards, so what a turn of events here between Gary Antonio Russell and Juan Carlos Payano. I would have to say that Gary Antonio Russell should likely have no issues whatsoever when it comes to picking out the victory, but Russell is not happy with the fact that he couldn't finish it off and defeat Payano by stoppage. He felt like he was wilting under his pressure. And there is Juan Carlos Payano, visibly disappointed because the fight was stopped due to a cut. I mean, he's still in very excellent shape. And he is chiseled and absolutely shredded as Payano. He's going to have to get some stitches there to sure up the cut. Carlos Payano getting himself all settled and ready to go. His gloves are coming off. So I would have to say Russell likely won that. I don't, maybe he lost one round, but other than that, I saw it at least five rounds to Gary Antonio Russell. Again, I am not an unofficial or a judge whatsoever. But from my standpoint, that's how I see it. 
And now both men go and sign a respect between Payano and Gary Antonio Russell. Love to see that sportsmanship between these two guys. Coming up next, Jerron Boots Ennis. He's in action next against Chris Van Heerman. They used to s slow down the swelling on Gary Antonio Russell. And here's Jimmy Leonard Jr. who has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one second in round number seven. Upon advice of the ringside physician, our referee in charge, David Field stops the contest due to an accidental headbutt. We go to the scorecards with our technical decision. Judge at ringside, David Sutherland scores about 58 to 56. Judges Tom Shrek and Tom Carasone both scored about 59 to 55. All three in favor of the winner by technical decision. And still undefeated, Gary Antonio. So Russell. Gary Antonio Russell picks up the most impressive victory of his career by technical decision. You heard the scorecards, 58, 56, and 59, 55 on the others. So Russell with the W, and he remains undefeated. The future is bright for Gary Antonio Russell.